When Microsoft released Windows 11, they promised to release one feature update in a year. Unlike Windows 10, which receives two feature updates, H1 and H2, Windows 11 will receive one big feature update this year called 22H2. The official release date is not yet confirmed, but it is said that it will come out in the fall of 2022. We have compiled a list of features that could come in the stable version of Windows 11 22H2. Start menu changes. In Windows 11 22H2, you will see many changes in the start menu. You can customize the recommended and pin area from the settings. You can either have more pins, default, or more recommendations. You can also create folders in the pinned section of the start menu. To create a folder, drag and drop an icon onto another. Though you cannot rename it yet, Microsoft may enable this also in the final 22H2 update. Taskbar changes. You could see many changes in the taskbar also, such as you can see the clock on the taskbar on secondary monitors and the widget app icon on the taskbar. Clicking on the widget icon opens the app where you can customize and add more widgets. You can also increase or decrease the volume by hovering the mouse on the sound icon and using the scrolling wheel of your mouse. Microsoft may also introduce enabling or disabling the microphone directly from the taskbar or using the shortcut key Windows plus Alt plus K buttons. This feature is not in my build but might come in Windows 11 22H2. If you are in a meeting, you can share a window using the Share Window feature. You will have to enable it from the Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, and Taskbar Behaviors. Now enable Share My Window from Taskbar. It is not yet available for my device, but it might come in Windows 11 22H2 update. Most likely, Microsoft is going to change the name of Focus Assist. The Focus Assist will now be Focus and Do Not Disturb. The Focus will be a separate feature linked with the Clock app. It will allow you to run a Focus session to increase your productivity. You can connect your to-do list and Spotify to this app and listen to music or podcasts during your Focus session. If you want to disable the notification, you will have to use the Do Not Disturb button placed on the top side of the notification panel. Snap Layouts In Windows 11 22H2, you will see smoother snap layouts. You can now just drag a window to the top of the screen to see the snap layouts and then drop it on the template zone. Then select Next Windows. This is much easier to use compared to previously when you had to drag it to the corners and sides. New Task Manager In Windows 11 22H2, you will see a completely redesigned Task Manager. The new Task Manager design will have a Windows 11 feel. In the Windows 11 build 22557, you can see the menus of the Task Manager are changed to the tabs. There is a new feature called Efficiency Mode 2. If any of the processes consume too many system resources, you can turn it on and Windows will limit its resources. This way you can prevent your system from crashing or hanging. You can see the button of Run New Task. Earlier you had to go to the File menu to run a new task. Live Captions The Live Caption will be a new feature of Windows 11 22H2. Microsoft has already introduced this feature in their Insider build. The Live Captions analyzes the sound output of playing media on your PC and puts the text of spoken content. This feature is handy for people who can't listen or don't have a sound output device. If the user shell value in the registry is changed, you will see the black screen with cursor on your Windows 11. A vi there are huge chances that Microsoft will introduce this feature in Windows 11 22H2. The live captions understand English US audio, but soon it will support other languages also. You can place it on the top, bottom, or in a floating window. There are several customizations for the live captions also. More touch friendly. The Windows 11 22H2 version is going to be more touch friendly. Microsoft has already introduced several touch-friendly functionalities in their Insider builds. You can now swipe to invoke the Start menu, Quick Settings, and Notifications panel. They might include more such features in their next Insider builds and most likely in the final 22H2 version. The Spotlight The Spotlight feature will dynamically change your wallpaper, just like you see on the lock screen. You can enable this feature by visiting the Settings. Click Personalization then select Background. Now click here and choose Windows Spotlight. 
When you see your desktop, you will see an icon. You can open it to know more about the picture and right-click to like or dislike the picture. If you like wallpaper, the spotlight will show more photos like this, and if you dislike it, the spotlight won't show such images on your desktop. Changes in the settings You will see many changes in the Settings app in Windows 11 22H2. If you open the Apps section, you will see the Apps and Features is renamed to Installed Apps, so it will list all the installed apps. You will have to go to the Advanced Apps Settings page to manage the settings. If you go to the Network and Internet in Advanced Network Settings, you will see a new entry, Advanced Sharing Settings. If you open it, you will see Network Discovery, File and Printer Sharing, Public Folder Sharing, and others. These are the options migrated from the Control Panel. So these are the expected features of Windows 11 22H2 update. Microsoft may not include all these, but most of these and some new features will be there. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.